Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Excited about this capacity crowd for our very important hearing today, which we'll be voting on three bills, very different bills, each of which is extremely, excuse me, four bills, uh, dealing with um, three very important challenges for our city, our uh, battle against obesity and childhood diabetes, um, our ongoing efforts to rein in the threat of Legionnaire's disease, and a piece of legislation that's particularly personal to me to allow um, mothers who have been abused by their obstetricians to remove the name of the abuser from their child's birth certificate. And we'll talk more about these bills in a moment, but I do want to allow folks to vote in case they have to leave, and then I'll cue um, the sponsors of these two bills, Councilmember Rodriguez and Kalos, for statements. And I do want to acknowledge that in addition to uh, our two bill sponsors, uh, we've also been joined by fellow Health Committee members, Councilmember Inez Barron and Councilmember Keith Powers. Um, thank you all for joining us. And I'm going to ask our um, committee clerk, Billy Martin, to please call the vote. And we're going to do the vote and then we're going to do statements. Yeah. All, couple, all items are coupled. Chair Levine. Vote aye on all. Barron. I want to thank the chair for consideration of having us vote first, because I do have to leave. I vote aye on all, and I ask to be day. added to all of the bills. Thank you. Well, we thank you for your support you. and for um, co-sponsoring the bills. Thank you. Powers. I vote aye. My vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Yes. And we'll, we'll leave the vote open for uh, uh, at least 20 minutes. And now, I, now that we have a little bit less pressure on time, um, I do want to say how excited I am by um, all of these bills today. Um, and uh, I want to thank Councilman Rodriguez for his partnership on the uh, fight against Legionnaires' disease. And I want to thank uh, Councilmember Kalos for an outstanding piece of legislation uh, that's going to be a major new tool in the battle against uh, childhood obesity and diabetes. Um, I'm excited about these bills and others. Um, since Councilmember Kalos was here first, I'm going to cue you for a statement and then we'll go to you, uh, Councilmember Rodriguez, please. I want to start by uh, thanking our health committee chair, uh, Mark Levine. Uh, you and I have a lot in common. One of the things we do have in common, unfortunately, is Legionnaires. Uh, we had a cluster in my district. You also experienced uh, that in your district. And uh, as part of today's package on Legionnaires, I'm proud to have legislation along with yours that is passing through multiple committees that will hopefully uh, mean that no one will ever have to get sick or God forbid, die again um, from Legionnaires. Uh, but I think the piece that I might be happy about is that uh, kids' meals in New York City are in for a change from the iconic McDonald's Happy Meal to a kids' meal at your local diner. Water, low-fat milk, and 100% fruit juice will be the default instead of sodas that are high in sugar. Uh, we've seen report after report over the past uh, couple of weeks just about how bad soda is and just how much soda kids are drinking. Most recently, enough to fill a bathtub. Uh, and, and no, that is not fiction. That is not Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That is literally what kids are drinking uh, right now. Uh, the obesity is an, an epidemic in New York City with more than half of adults are overweight or obese, according to the city's Department of Health. And obesity is starting early in life with nearly half of all elementary school kids not at a healthy weight and one in five kindergarten students entering school already uh, obese. And uh, so I'm just proud to be sponsoring this legislation and having done so for uh, five years. And I think the, the most interesting piece about this is we had testimony Previously, uh, it had been this legislation was widely opposed, but even in recent testimony from McDonald's, it shows that by changing the default beverage, uh, it they now have half as many half the meals 
uh, from McDonald's that our kids' meals now include a healthy beverage. And uh, now it's going to be the normal at 24,000 restaurants throughout our city, and I couldn't be prouder. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos, for the great bill and for your work on Legionnaires as well. In the Housing and Buildings Committee, we have some good bills moving this week as well. And now I'll cue you, Councilmember Rodriguez. Thank you, Chair. Uh, it is so sad to know that months ago, or in a short period of time ago, uh, Northern Manhattan had been hit by legionary disease. Uh, and sometimes this reality had to bring all of us to this discussion about how cooling tower uh, need to be inspected and, and, and more regulated. So as anyone can write the name of the residential building in any block and find out all the report of violation open, violation corrected. Right now, up to this moment, those information are not public when it comes to cooling tower. So the bill that I had the opportunity to lead as a lead prime and together with the chairman of this committee working, especially because the last case of legionary happening in our area, in his district and border to my district. I think it is important to uh, be able to work in this committee and to know that we are voting this bill, the one that will create a reporting when it comes to all uh, cooling towers in the city of New York. From now on, Everyone that will know when the last cooling tower was inspected, what a measure was taken to correct any violation. So hopefully this will allow us to collect all the information to be sure that those individuals or agencies that own those cooling tower, those buildings with cooling tower, they should know that we are watching on them and that we expect that all violations are corrected so that we don't have to leave the experience that unfortunately took the life away of so many great New Yorkers on Northern Manhattan because of the legionary disease. Thank you very much, Councilmember Rodriguez, for uh, this bill and for your work on the topic. Uh, I do want to say a few words about a piece of legislation that I am uh, pleased to be introducing today uh, related to uh, just the incredibly painful problem of women who have been abused by their obstetrician and the name of that abuser then enshrined uh, in perpetuity on the birth certificate of their child. Uh, this is not just a hypothetical. This is a um, very painful real world case for dozens of women who were abused by uh, a doctor who has since been convicted, uh, whose name appears on the birth certificates of these children, the leader of this movement, uh, one of the most inspiring people I've had the chance to work with, Marissa Hochstetter, who appeared before this committee in a very uh, emotionally impactful hearing um, earlier this year, uh, has led this, she has led this charge um, surmounting many, many, many obstacles. Uh, to work with her has been um, a real honor. And I'm just thrilled that New York City is now going to give um, Marissa Hochstetter and uh, the dozens of other women, potentially more, who have been victimized this way, to give them the right to have a little bit of pain alleviated from their lives by removing the abuser's name for their birth certificate. And I'm pleased that we have, um, vote, we're voting on that bill as well, 1308-A. I would like to cue fellow health committee member, Dr. Matthew Eugene, who has joined us. Uh, we, have st we still have the vote open, and so um, we'll ask uh, Mr. Martin to please allow Dr. Eugene to vote. Continuation roll call committee on health. All items are coupled. Council member Eugene. Uh, first of all, thank you, Mr. Chair. And with that, I'll vote uh, aye. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. 
Um, this concludes the formal part of our hearing, but we will ask that the vote remain open for 10 minutes um, because we are expecting uh, Councilmember Amprey Samuel to join us. Thank you all very much.